Hi everyone, it's Donna here from Donna's Vintage Cottage and I am here today with some wedding dress bodices for sale. Um, I've had these for, for quite a while, it's time to, time to move them on. I'm also working on a large video probably for next weekend, next Saturday, that has a little bit of everything in it and it's going to have some bling in it. <clears throat> So stay tuned for that. Um, before I forget, my challenge is still going on. It's running um, through the end of April, my challenge and giveaway. Um, there's, and it's for a really good cause. Um, there's only been one person participate so far, so your odds are really good of winning a nice, uh, nice crafty prize full of things that are catered just to what you like to craft with so I'll put the link down below to that challenge so um, today the bodices I'm selling one per person mostly because they're kind of bulky and I don't think I have the packaging for for more than one and I am not leaving the house to go to the post office uh, I'm not leaving the house for anything I'm even having my groceries delivered now. So, <clears throat> so one bodice per person. If you're interested in more than one, send me in your email your your order of preference. And if the first one is not available, I'll go down the list and see if any of the others uh, are available. <clears throat> um, also, with wedding dress bodices, my usual disclaimer, while it's usually the prettiest part of the dress, it's also the most difficult to work with, and that's because um, nine times out of ten, the stitching that holds the beads on goes all the way through the satin. Uh, so you won't be able to totally remove the appliques. You'll have to cut around them. So that being said, it's a little bit more difficult to work with um, the appliques on a bodice but they are usually beautiful so let me get started bodice number one <clears throat> was from um, a this is a longer than normal bodice and I'll just kind of pan through it the, the bodice part went down to like thigh length instead of um, below the waist um, and I'll come down uh, close so you can see the details on this, but I'm just going to pan down so you can see the length of it. Um, goes all the way down to here. It's almost like a dress. Um, and there's some hem along the bottom. This bodice has a combination, oops, my pile's falling. A combination of both the corded a l'ensemble type of um, applique and also some embroidered appliques. So let me come come down. Oh, and I forgot to say on today's order, um, there's I'm reducing the shipping to three dollars for U.S. and Canada. If you're outside of the U.S., contact me and I will I will pay half the shipping cost for outside of uh, US or Canada. Alright, so let's come down a little bit. This top part, let's kind of hold on a second, let me turn on the light to see if that helps. Um, this top part is on tool, so you'll be able to easily cut this out. There's a big beaded um, decoration in the center here and that's just stitched on it looks yeah you'll be able to get that off um, by clipping a couple of stitches so these are the um, this dress has clear clear sequins here's um, the corded a l'ensemble appliques up here and then come down the center part, I think the center part is one big, it looks like one big medallion. One big medallion. <clears throat> and it's the um, embroidered appliques. There's nice beadwork on there. 
and come down. That's the bottom part of that one applique or medallion. And then you've got more of the Alassane appliques and then at the bottom there's some some hem. And on the back side There isn't as as much. There's tool all up in here, and then some appliques on the tool at the top. No satin covered buttons on this one. There's appliques going down, and there there's the bottom of the the hem. So this is bodice number one. This one I am asking ten dollars for uh, bodice number one. Bodice number two, um, the appliques on here have turned a golden color. Um, they're kind of a smoky, smoky gold color. Um, I'm going to pan down to the bottom here. And actually, let's start at the top. Um, this has uh, embroidered appliques on it. This top part is on tool. It has a um, fair amount of beadwork on it. Fairly heavily beaded. And you can see the, the appliques in the viewfinder look really, really yellow but they don't look that yellowed in person. They look more of a smoky, smoky gold color. But they are, they are, they have turned, so I mean, that's quite clear in the viewfinder anyway. We've got a, looks like a, a big medallion here that comes down to this point that's hanging, hanging off. Um, clear sequins on this one. Flip it over. This one does have a row of satin covered buttons going down it. And it has the appliques over the shoulder. And going all the way down to the back. So this is bodice number two. I'm also asking $10 for this one. I would have asked more for that one if the um, sequins hadn't started turning. Bodice number three is a full, the full bodice. It includes the sleeves. Am I all the way out? Yes. All right, I'm just going to pan so you can see all of it. And you've got the sleeves on both sides. I'm going to come down. This one has, this is unusual because it has Venice lace appliques on it. Not, not typically found in a wedding dress. Let me see if you can see. See the Venice, Venice lace appliques under there. Fairly heavily beaded on the um, appliques. This is all on tool. M most of this will be easily cut apart. You've got that one there. I'm going to pan down. There. This is in the center. And then at the very bottom there are a couple more down here. Now I'm going to come up to the sleeve. The sleeves both have this large medallion here with the appliques all around it and one in the middle and individual beads on the net part.
And then there's also some, <coughs> excuse me, under here. And then going down to the bottom of the sleeve is another one. So that's the front and the sleeves, and then the back. There's a few more on the back. You've got these ones on the net up here, and some more coming down the opening, and a couple more at the bottom here. So this is, come on, oh. Am I all the way up? Yeah, I guess I am. Um, this is bodice number three, and I am asking $12 for this one. Bodice number four has some, some dangles on it. Um, I'm just going to pan down and then come down so you can see see the appliques. This one has um, embroidered appliques on it, clear sequins, um, fairly heavily beaded. And pretty appliques on there in the very center. There's one with some some dangles on it. Some nice beadwork there. And then coming down, we have some going off to the side as well. And then this one hanging off the bottom here. Now, flip it over on the back side. You have this dangle here. This one has some satin covered buttons at the top, and there's some more at the bottom there. You have that dangle coming off the top of the uh, kind of heart shaped opening in the back. We've got these coming all the way down. Same amount of beadwork on the back as there was on the front. Usually there's less. And then you've got your satin covered buttons. And this comes all the way down to the bottom where it kind of hangs off. So that is bodice number four. Yeah. Number four, I am asking $12 for this one as well. And then lastly, bodice number five is heavily beaded. I'll pan down. Have some cross hatching here. And this one has the corded ensemble, and in the center is a Venice lace one. Um, yeah, these are the corded. And you see there's lots of beadwork on this one. Look at those rows of tiny, tiny little beads, and then big beads. There's lots of rows of those tiny little beads. This one has some flower sequins. You can see the flower there. Has some rice beads, several different sizes of round beads. There's the, the heavy beadwork there. And in the middle, you've got that really heavy beadwork all the way around this center medallion. There's a cluster there and then the cross hatching and in the center of each one is a, um, a, a circle of beads and a crystal in the middle of it. I don't think those are real, well, 
They might be. No, I think they're plastic crystals. So there's the beadwork on this one. Very pretty. Look at that there. And it comes down. This part is hanging, hanging off at the bottom here. So that's the front. The back has the um, same appliques on the back. This top part is on tools, so you'll be able to cut that out easily. That whole top part. And then coming down. And you've got them coming around from the sides <coughs> as well. So there you go. This is bodice number five, and I'm asking $14 for this one. And that's all I have for today. Um, if you're interested in any of this, the instructions on how to order are down below in the description box, and I'll mark things as sold as they sell out in the description box as well. Um, that's all I have for today. I hope you will participate in my challenge that's going on. Um, and stay tuned next weekend for a big video of all kinds of stuff. But that's all for today. I hope everybody's doing well, um, staying safe, and enjoying your family. Bye for now.